cramped. Okay, guys, so I'm going to um, sort of make a statement, take a few questions, I'll call on you, and uh, we'll wrap it up. Yesterday, uh, City of Miami, uh, sorry, yesterday, City Manager Art Noriega made the decision to suspend Chief Acevedo for the reasons he has outlined. This was a difficult decision, and it marks the beginning of the end of an unfortunate episode for our city. I support the city manager for weighing all of the factors involved and doing what he believes is in the best interest of our residents and our employees. Over the last few weeks, I've insisted in giving the manager the time and space to sort the situation out, and I truly believe he has done the best he can under very trying circumstances. While it is clear that Chief Acevedo has the qualifications and the experience to be an effective chief of police, it is also obvious that his personality and leadership style are incompatible with the structure of our city's government. The status quo where a top ed city administrator is at war with the city's elected leadership is simply untenable and unsustainable. This dynamic was unforeseeable, and while Chief Acevedo ended, ended up not being a good fit for our city, I certainly wish him and his family the best of luck in the future. So, um, I'm going to take questions. Glenna, go ahead. So the manager wrote his written budget letter and enumerated eight points yep. for the firing. Do you agree that those eight points rise to the level of termination for this chief? Exactly. Yeah, I think uh, the, the manager has a charter responsibility to document in a very detailed way uh, why uh, he is essentially suspending the, the, uh, the chief, which is what the charter calls for. And the charter calls for very specific causes or all other reasonable causes, and that's what the manager had to do uh, to justify his decision. Can you as the mayor, though, agree that, that the chief is responsible for those eight points and that for those eight points you support his firing? Yeah, I mean, I can go through all the eight points with you. I'm not going to do that. Um, generally speaking, I think a lot of the points, uh, if not all of them, are right on point, and I and I do and I do think that they're accurate and, and, and I support them. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Mr. Mayor, are you aware of the package, the financial package, or, or, or a severance deal? Steve, I hear you back there. It sounds like your voice. Um, I, I am not. Uh, I, my understanding is that the uh, chief was offered uh, to resign. Uh, I'm not sure how that plays into the possibility of his compensation or severance. Uh, so that's something that's going to have to be determined. The chief does have a right uh, to a hearing, uh, and my understanding is he's going to avail himself of that right. And uh, my understanding also is that that hearing is being scheduled. There was some talk about it being scheduled on Wednesday. The chief, my understanding, has requested additional time. And based on the legal advice that we've received, um, he will be granted that additional time. So uh, it's very possible that it uh, will be on Friday. Let me take uh, Anna from Spanish Media. Anna? Can, can I, excuse me, Anna. Gracias. Sí, yo creo que lo, lo, el detalle que ha eh, puesto en el memo el eh, administrador de la ciudad de Miami, desafortunadamente, que es algo, una situación en cual eh, hubiera, hubiera, hubiera sido mucho mejor si no estaríamos en esta situación, y si, sin duda hubo la esperanza cuando eh, se contrató al jefe que nunca eh, estuviéramos en esta situación, pero o sea, desafortunadamente estamos aquí y no es so sostenible para los residentes de la ciudad de Miami que están enfocados en tantas cosas positivas, eh, tener eh, una situación en cual hay una batalla entre el jefe y los eh, funcionarios electos de la ciudad. Eh, desafortunadamente es la tercera vez en mi vida que yo he estado expuesto a una situación como esta eh, una vez co eh, con, eh, cuando, fue jo cuando era joven, eh, durante el tiempo de mi padre, eh, con Don Warshaw, otra, otra vez cuando era comisionado eh, con el jefe de Exposito y esta vez. Y desafortunadamente no es sostenible tener una batalla entre eh, ambos partidos. You, you know, yeah. You know, look, I don't, I don't, I don't, this is not about fault, right? Uh, you know, I, I, and I think every elected official had the, you know, had the expectation and the hope that this would work out. I think anytime you hire someone and there's no doubt that he was hired with 
tremendous qualifications. He was president of the major cities chiefs association, you know, chief of three successive large departments. So he was hired with a high level of expectation. And unfortunately, you know, not every hire works uh, to your satisfaction, Peter. Yeah, uh, Mayor, uh, you answered that one question. Do you expect the vote to go against him at this point? That there's a consensus that the city wants to get this behind them? Look, I, 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 um, I don't want to talk about that, and I'll tell you why, Peter. Uh, it's the, the commission has a, has a fiduciary obligation to listen to whatever his case is and make a decision based on the facts. I, I know because I had to go through it myself uh, with Chief Acevedo, and it was a very contentious 20-plus hour hearing. I'm sorry, with Chief, uh, um, uh, um, with Chief Exposito, and it was a very contentious 20-hour hearing plus today. Uh, and we had to be objective, so I, I can't speculate as to what they're going to do. Mayor, sí. Hold on, Carlos. I hear you back there, buddy. Just give me a second. Go ahead. Bueno, tenemos el jefe tiene una eh, una opción de eh, de obtener un eh, un, eh, una, una audiencia con la comisión, eh, como yo tuve cuando yo era comisionado con el jefe Exposito, y tiene la habilidad de poner su caso de por qué no se debe de despedir. Eh, tengo entendido que él va a hacer eso. Eh, él, eh, le dieron a él la opción de hacerlo el miércoles, y él ha pedido más tiempo, así que eh, a base, a base de la, del consejo que hemos recibido de nuestros abogados, eh, lo, yo creo que le van a dar hasta el viernes, que es suficiente tiempo en lo que requiere la Carta Constitutiva de la Ciudad de Miami. Carlos, go ahead back there. A lot has been said about my lack of absence. Sorry, like It's okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, look, my my um, objective, Carlos, is is to represent my residents and do the very best that I can. And sometimes that means that I have to lead from the front and be very vocal on certain things. And sometimes that means that I have to use my discretion and understand that their situations are, are very complicated. They involve allegations of corruption. They involve allegations of illegalities. And that requires care uh, when you're discussing these kinds of issues. As to my personal life, I, I had my birthday on Wednesday, and I decided to spend some time with my wife and, and do some other personal things that I had to do. Thank you. Joey, I'm gonna, Joey's, jo, Joey's gonna be my last, guys, Joey. Okay, I'm gonna, Joey and Glenna, and then I'm closing. Go ahead, Joey. The chief wrote you, they wrote you an eight-page memo. Yes. Yep. And interfering with city operations. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not an investigatory agency and I am not a, you know, prosecutor. Um, so I think you would have to ask them what their professional opinion is about that. I can tell you that I was not consulted on the drafting of that memo. He didn't ask me for my advice. He didn't tell me he was going to do it. Um, and certainly I think, you know, I, I can't sp speak to his intent in why he did it. Um, but I think when you, when you throw down the gauntlet that way, you certainly set up a scenario that um, could be untenable, and that's certain, certainly part of what's happened here. Do you believe him? Do you believe what he's saying is true? Um, Glenna, go ahead. I, 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 I'm not going to opine on his allegations. Again, his, he has made allegations, and those are to be presumably analyzed by um, investigatory and or prosecutorial agencies. I'm not a prosecutor, I'm not an investigator, so I'm not gonna render a uh, professional opinion on that. Last question. Yep. Sure. Well, I think it's a little more complicated than that. Um, no, it's okay. I think, I think it's a little more complicated than that. I would say this. I, I certainly, and I think all the commissioners, uh, at least when they were informed of the decision, uh, were excited about the possibility of having someone of his caliber 
um, be here. And I think, unfortunately, you know, you want, you know, these situations always to work out. And they obviously haven't under the structure of government that we have. And we can continue to belabor this and continue uh, to drag this out. But really for the benefit of the city, for the benefit of him and his family, for the benefit of, uh, you know, the, the, the our government functioning and not being distracted from the real work that we have to do, which is keep homicides down, which is make sure our streets are safe and which is make sure that uh, we're doing everything that we can to differentiate our economy and make it a city where everyone can be successful in. That's the trajectory of where I want to be thinking and going. And frankly, I think that's uh, that's what we should be focusing on. Ronald, 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 dime. Yeah, I mean. déjame, déjame leer el dicho, el statement en español, como no. Gracias, Ronald. Gracias, Rono. Eh, ayer, el administrador de la ciudad de Miami, Art Noriega, tomó la decisión de suspender al jefe Acevedo por las razones que él es especificó. Ha sido una decisión difícil que marca el comienzo de, del fin de un episodio desafortunado para nuestra ciudad. Apoyo al administrador en su contemplación de estos factores, teniendo siempre el interés de los residentes en mente. En las últimas semanas he insistido en darle tiempo y espacio al administrador para resolver esta situación. Creo que ha hecho lo mejor dadas las circunstancias. Mientras está claro que las calificaciones de Acevedo son amplias, a tu punto y pregunta, está claro también que su personalidad y su estilo de liderazgo son incompatibles eh, para esta ciudad. No puede haber un enfrentamiento entre los oficiales electos y los líderes de la ciudad. Aquí hay una investigación criminal abierta y por ende no puedo comentar más sobre ese tema, pero hacia el futuro espero que llevemos de nuevo el foco hacia mejorar la calidad de vida y los servicios para nuestros residentes. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. There we just heard from uh, the Miami Mayor, Mayor Francis Suarez uh, talking about the city manager in Miami's decision to suspend Art Acevedo as that city's police chief after serving only about six months on the job. Um, we all know Art Acevedo is um, Austin's former police chief. He served for almost a decade here before going to Houston, where he uh, was on that job for four years. And now, um, with this suspension, the intent is for him to be fired uh, at some point soon. Uh, what the mayor there was saying is that this simply did not work out, this particular hire uh, bringing Acevedo into the department in Miami. And there have been a number of um, allegations made against him to lead up to this decision that was shared yesterday, including uh, that Chief Acevedo there in Miami had um, alleged that some of the uh, city commissioners in Miami had meddled in the police department and that led to a very combative relationship. There were also some comments that he had made about the ethnic background of some of the people there in Miami that led uh, to people being bristled against him in this particular situation. We're losing our live feed there, so I'm going to bring that down. We are reporting about this. Um, again, this is happening in Miami, uh, but you can find out more information about this particular story right now on our website. I'm going to show you really quickly that it is available there. Again, the headline reads, Former Austin Police Chief Art Acevedo suspended after less than a year in the Miami role. We've been sharing some of the reporting that uh, our NBC station, our sister station there in Miami, has been reporting about this. That's what uh, broke this story yesterday. We were we're picking up on that uh, because a lot of people are familiar with uh, former Chief Acevedo's time here in Austin. So again, you can read more about the reasoning behind it over on our website, kxan.com. Once again, I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN live studio. Thank you all for watching our live stream. We'll be back throughout the day with other updates, so please stay with us. Hope you all stay safe and healthy out there. Take care.